It scared the life out of me. It could have been a real nutter, you know. It could have been a kid's prank. No. I think you should get the police in. Oh, come off it, Melanie. You sure it wasn't Mark just winding you up? No. And anyway, he was with Lisa, and I don't think she'd do that sort of thing. He was wearing a clown's mask and he was peering in at the window. It was horrible, and it wasn't my imagination. All right, maybe so, but we haven't got enough to involve a police investigation. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. All right, I believe you, but I don't want it blown out of all proportion. Out of what proportion? I was terrified. Yeah, maybe so, but I don't want people getting worried, especially so close to bank holiday. Oh, no, of course not. We wouldn't want to do that. It was probably just a one-off. There hasn't been any other complaints. Well, not yet. And there probably won't be. Suppose there are. Suppose it's too late for someone to complain. All right, Melanie, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll keep my eyes open and I'll get all the wardens to keep regular checks on the cabins. Especially the cabins that we're babysitting in. Especially those ones. Just give me a daily list. Now, will that do you? I suppose it'll have to. But I still think you should call the police. Archie. Hi. What brings you up here? Thought I'd come up, see how you're doing. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Well, it might need a bit of company. I'll be having all the company I need soon. I'm standing in for Carol this morning while she goes to pick up Lorraine. Trouble's back, is she? She's all right, she's just a kid still. Oh, yeah. Try telling that Lorraine. Well, if you're going to work, I'll get back. See if we can stop Nick tidying up the house for the third time this week. What? Well, with Alice being away, I don't know what to do with yourself. That house is spotless. <laughs> When does she get back? Tomorrow. Not mind telling you, I really missed her. Look, before you go, there's a couple of toys Peter doesn't play with anymore. You can take them for Alice if you like. All right, thanks. The least I can do, especially after being such a pig. Yeah, well. Thanks for coming up this morning, Archie. To tell the truth, I was feeling a bit sorry for myself. I went to put some flowers on his grave this morning. Yeah, I thought you would have done. Wondering if you'd want somebody to come with you. I went first thing. It's funny, though. It's one of those things you do, then when you get there, you don't quite know what to do, really. You fancy a cup of tea? No, no tell. Thanks, Archie. I don't know what I'd have done without you over the last year. Hiya, Mark. Do you know where Joe is? He's gone up to home for him this morning. Be back later. All right, I'll come back then. Was there anything I can do? No, no, he just promised to put a good word in for me about the Winslow place. You know, me take over the tenancy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it'd be great, wouldn't it? Be my own boss again. But I thought you liked to work in Emmerdale. Well, I do. Jack's a great bloke to work for, but it's not the same, though, is it? Hey. You seem to know what you want. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good farm as well. Mm. Can I pass on a message? Uh, no, I'll come up and see him again later. I only want to see how long it's likely to be. Mind you, it'll take some time to sort out. Right, look, I best get back, because Jack doesn't know I've gone walkabout. I'll see you. OK, cheers. Oh, see ya. He looks well pleased with himself. Yeah, he is. So, what do you want? Oh, what a welcome. Just thought I'd see if you fancy going for a pint. Or uh, have you forgotten your old mates then? Look, I'm, I'm really pushed. Hey, we had a great night at the disco last night. Honestly, you really missed out. I don't know. I had a pretty good night myself. Yeah, but a bit past it, I suppose, your bird. She must be pushing 30. Well, so what? A bit too old for discos, eh? Must be a bit dull. Well, I didn't want to go to the disco either. No, you mean she didn't want to go out and you went along with her? You want to watch yourself, mate. You end up dead boring. Not half as boring as you. She's got you on a lead. Anyway, see you around, poodle. Oh, now look, just shove it, Dan. You don't know anything about it. No. Well, I hope for your sake it's not terminal. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right. All right, I'll be there in about half an hour. All right, goodbye. Well, oh, what are we going to do? That was the environmental health people. They want me to go in. What for? Well, something to do with my egg suppliers. They want to see my delivery notes. It's all right, Alan. I can manage. Are you sure? Looks like I'll have to. Oh, no. Why can't they all be at work like the rest of us? How's Cathy getting on? She's not that keen on shooting, really. Oh, she seemed fine. Happy as Larry, in fact. And Chris took to it like a duck takes to water. Now, Neil. Hello, oh, Joe. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. Oh, a couple of things came up that needed my urgent attention. What can we do for you, Joe? The Windsor place. I've got an idea for it. As long as it doesn't involve Michael Feldman. Nothing to do with Michael. Then tell me. Well, then, 
I think it makes sense to pass the land off to the adjoining tenants, leaving the farmhouse itself with surrounding acres for whatever we need. Need for what? A model farm. What's a model farm when it's at home? Specialises in rare breeds of pigs, sheep, cattle, whatever. But surely it's going to cost a small fortune to set up, isn't it? Not half as much as building a golf course. And it's a perfect site. So convince me. Well, it's a tourist attraction. The kids would love it. You could have a picnic area with pony rides, maybe even a horse and cart drive. And you'll be doing something valuable for farming. It's a thought, Frank. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's all for. I mean, it, it would make a nice tourist attraction, I suppose. No, no, the point is it helps breeds survive. A, a genetic bank for the future, like Gloucester Old Spot pigs or, or Tamworths. Or we could have some shark horses. Highland cattle, they're beautiful. Uh, you're all agreed, then, right? What? On what I should do with my land. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. No, no, it's all right. Sounds worth looking into, anyway. Rachel, it's Alan Turner. Look, I, I really do need you in the bar today. Isn't Lynn in? Yes, but only Lynn, you see, and I, I've got to go out to a meeting. I don't think it'd be a very good idea, Alan. Well, she seems all right. Yeah, maybe. But I think I should stay out of Lynn's way today, for all our sakes. But are you sure you're not making too much of this? I mean, you two are getting on fine these days. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm sure there'd be no problem if you came in. No, Alan. It'd just stir up too many memories. All right. Well, I'll just have to manage, I suppose. I know I'm doing the right thing. Besides, you wouldn't want to walk in out on you, would you? No, of course not. Like I say, Frank, it's just a rough idea at the moment. All right. I'll wait and see what you come up with. Thanks. Oh, no, not again. Well, who on earth is that, Joe? Her name's Poppy. She's staying at the holiday village with her mum and dad. She wants something. No, not really. She just likes hanging around me. What? Yeah, last month, Mum said it was the Bobby and the Beat. The month before, it was Jason Donovan and Dow. What? You mean she's got a crush on you? Yeah, something like that. It's <laughs> embarrassing, really. Well, I never. In the same league as Jason Donovan. You're a dark horse, aren't you? Joe Sugden, the teen dream. <laughs> Think of the publicity. The idea of the model farm, Frank, just have Joe as your star attraction. <laughs> oh, ha ha, very funny. We could reprint the Holiday Village brochure, put Joe on the front cover. Centre page spread with a strategically placed staple. We'd make a fortune. Look, it's no fun being chased around by a 14 year old shadow. <laughs> Price of being a pin up, I'm afraid. <laughs> How's it go again, Joe? Mm -hmm. Any dream will do. Liv, I'll, um, I'll be as quick as I can. All right, Alan, I'll try to hold on. Listen, I suppose we could always see if Rachel yeah. had come in. I don't think that's a very good idea, do you? Why not? Well, you know, in, 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 in view of the day, and uh, I'm sure Rachel wouldn't want to. You know, but I, I must ask, I'm late as it is. Noticed her hanging around the office. Now I know why. The crush on you. She must be mad. <laughs> Don't you start. I don't know, but from Kim and Frank. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Mark. Is that give you a time off from Marvin's thing? No, I just wanted a word about the tenants here. The Winslow place. Oh, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Only, I've been thinking, with that amount of acreage, I'd need to get a good start, so I'm all set up when winter comes. Yeah, the thing is, Michael, I should have said something to you earlier on. Haven't you asked him yet? Oh, come on, Joe, you've had loads of time. No, um, you see, it's not really on. What do you mean it's not on? Well, we decided to give our acreage to our other tenants. The, the bishops, mostly. But you don't need any land. I mean, what about me? Yeah, but it makes sense to give it to our best farmer. He gets results. And I wouldn't. Is that what you're trying to say? Michael, it's not just the tenancy. You'll need a bit of capital to set yourself up. You, you don't stand a chance. <sighs> I had the right to be considered. You were considered, and you were turned down. It's Frank Tate, isn't it? I should have known. Oh, come on, Michael. It was never really on. I thought you understood. I thought you were on my side. I am. I tried to explain to you, but you wouldn't listen. I really wanted that farm. I thought you were going to persuade Frank. I didn't promise, though. Same old story, innit? Only this time you really sold me out, didn't you, Joe? Oh, Lynn, I'm sorry. The train was late. Did you and Mr. Tanner cope all right? <laughs> Alan had to go into Hotton. But how did you manage? She gets really busy at dinner time. Oh, I managed. With a little help. 
Thanks, Rachel. Oh, but, um, uh, Mr. Tony said I'm... Well... Nice of her to come in on a day off, wasn't it? So, Lorraine, how was your holiday? Oh, it was great. I just crashed out on the beach all day. It's all right for some. Will you get her a glass of lemonade, Lynn? And me and Owl, they're both dying for a drink. I don't want the donkey riding. I always loved donkey riding as a kid. I'll show you my photos one again. <laughs> you should have seen Aunt Molly, Mum. She came third. Molly on a donkey? I don't believe us. She was great. <laughs> Thanks. I'll wait outside, shall I? Right, love. Oh. She seems to have had a good time. Yes, I don't know. She can be so sweet sometimes. <laughs> Can we go and get fish and chips, then? It's all right, Carol. You get off. We can lunch. Well, if you're sure you don't mind. No. It's pretty slow at the moment. Oh, right. Well, we'll see you later. See ya. Bye. That's the first time I've seen her being her age, really. I know. It's difficult to remember she's only 15 half the time. I should thank you for coming in today. You saved me a lot of hassle. It's OK. I wouldn't have come in unless you'd phone, though. No. I appreciate it, you know, you changing your day off. It just seemed the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Sheep racing? Who on earth thought up a daft idea like that? Well, according to this article, it's really popular, especially in Holland. Oh, that explains it. Well, how can you ride a sheep? You wouldn't stand still. It's a daft, Mark. They don't ride the sheep. So how do you race them? Well, they make jockeys, like dolls, I suppose. You're winding us up? No, then they tie them on the sheep and off they go. Mark, tell me, she's winding us up. Such me. Sounds bonkers. Yeah, bonkers is the right word. But there were pictures. You know, the little jockeys bobbing up and down on the sheep. <laughs> it could be quite good fun. Fun? Well, if they can do it in Holland, we can do it here. Now, wait a minute. Well, we've got plenty of sheep. What more do we need? Farmers stupid enough to lend you sheep in the first place. I could organise it for the holiday village. For the bank holiday. A special event. No way, Mark. Oh, come on, Joe. It could be fun. I'm sure I could get someone to help. You've got a screw loose. So it's on, then? I'm going to regret this. Come on, we'll pop down to the wolf bag. See who's there. Tell them about it. Lisa, I blame you for all this. It's not my fault. I only told him about it. Alan, could you put a new barrel on for me? Carol's not here yet and I don't know how to do it. Yes, yes, of course. I'll, I'll just finish my supper. Oh, that looks nice. Hmm. Wood pigeon. Yet another dish I couldn't persuade my customers to try. You all right, Alan? What did those environmental people say? Oh, well, as I said, they just wanted a list of my supplies, the eggs in particular. Probably those damned omelets. Well, that's all right, then. If the cause of the poisoning was nothing to do with you. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. So why so gloomy? Well, I was just thinking about all that stuff in the freezer. I've got enough wood pigeon to feed an army. I've got that smoked lamb we tried the other week. Sea bass, pheasant. Oh, you think nobody appreciates your cooking? Well, they don't, do they? Well, not enough. No, I don't think so, Alan. I think you just chose the wrong time. The recessions hit everybody. You know what I wanted when I opened this restaurant? A mention in the good food guide, praising my cooking. Well, it might still happen. It takes time to get into that. Or oh, something in one of the Sunday reviews. You know, Chef Alan Turner's fine cuisine is only matched by the charming ambience of his restaurant. And why not? You're a wonderful cook and the restaurant's lovely. Thank you, my dear. But you wouldn't try my sweet omelettes, would you? Well, no, but that doesn't mean anything. And perhaps it's as well. You might have wound up in hospital. Alan, it really wasn't your fault. Look, I tell you what, when you've got the all clear and the restaurant's open again, why don't you serve up one of those sweet omelettes and I'll try it, all right? <laughs> Thank you for your support. But I really don't think I could look a sweet omelette in the face again after this fiasco. You'd better get on with your wood pigeon before it gets cold. Oh. Oh, or do you want some to take home? All right. Thanks. Don't mention it. Yeah, to tell the truth, wood pigeon's never been a favourite of mine.
used to think he was such a sensible lad. Oh, well, Frank Tate said he'd put up a holiday village entry. Oh, did he? Oh, well, in that case, there'll definitely be a Wolfpack entry. When did you ask Frank Tate? I haven't yet, but when I do, I'll tell him it's a Wolfpack entry. <laughs> this is my kid brother speaking, isn't it? I'm beginning to wish I'd never started this. Nick, Archie, how do you fancy sheep crazy? <laughs> Anybody because they only did that because I was a new man, new, new chump in this business. They thought, is it around me? That bloke Rick seemed really nice. Yeah, I miss him next year at university. Uh, will you be sharing with Ellie next year? No, I don't think so. She's far too interested in her boyfriend. Oh, actually, you've lost out again, haven't you? I wasn't interested in Ellie. Oh, no. No, of course not. Where did you get off now, Rachel? Well, I Carol like Rachel. Oh, great, thanks. Where did you go then, Mark? I've only just got here. Hi, Lisa. I'm really hot and sticky. I think I'll get off for a bath. See you later. Yeah, maybe. Do you know what I fancy right now? A swim. Oh, God, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Oh, don't talk about it. It's making me feel hot. You could go for a swim at the holiday village. Well, would you mind? Well, I don't see why. He wouldn't know, would he? Right, then. I'm up for it, Mick. Yep. Uh, why not? Best do it tonight, though. Won't get a chance with Alice back. Let's go. I don't think I'll come. But why not? You go if you want to, but I don't fancy it. Come on, Mark. You're the one that works here. Go on, Mark. You can't let your mates down. Yeah, you're all right. See you later, then. Probably. Tit, where is he? Is he in? Michael? Kim, what's happened? I want to talk to you. You had better calm down, young man. Just tell me why. Why won't you give me a chance? Is it about the farm? I'm a good farmer. Why won't you give me a chance? If you calm down, I might be prepared to talk to you. Otherwise, you better leave now before I throw you out. You just like playing with people's lives, don't you? It's all a game to you. Come on, Michael. Don't you think it'd be best if you left now? No, not for me, it wouldn't. I've got rights. It's my farm. Michael, we can't talk to you if you're just going to shout. Now, come on, calm down. All right. I just want to know why can't I have the farm? <laughs> Cut on you light, it's fantastic! Is it cold? No, it's really warm. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Well, it's perfectly decent, we won't look. Well, it's not going to be able to look at, I'm not taking my T-shirt off. So yourself. Oh, budget! Come on, Rachel, get your kicks off and get in. <laughs> Come on, Rachel, you'll love it. OK, here goes. <laughs> I know I can make a go of it, Frank. It's not that easy anymore, Michael. Oh, isn't it? Well, it was easy enough to throw us off our farm. You lost your farm because you couldn't make it pay. Every farmer's going through hard times at the moment, especially round here. That land is good land, and I can't afford to throw it away on a bad risk. But that's all you see, isn't it? Look, I'm not a balance sheet. I'm Michael Feldman. I wish I could help you, Michael. I really wish I could. Oh, don't patronise me, Tate. You don't care about me. You never have. Now, listen, Michael. No, you listen. You never gave us a chance. You were nearly bankrupt. You couldn't afford the rent. And I'm not a charity. Well, I watched my mother go through hell because of you. Oh, come on, Michael. What do you think your mother would say if she knew you were here? I could make a go of Blackthorn. I can make this farm pay. I'm a good farmer. Face it, Michael. You're never going to make it. You'll always be a farm labourer. I'll get you for this, Tate. You see if I don't. <laughs> this is wonderful. We should do it every night. So peaceful. I wish it could always be like this. Yeah. Hey! Oi! Just you wait, Mark, you! <laughs> Ow! Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I might have known. We didn't think you'd mind. Yeah, we'll just keep it quiet. I don't want any complaints from my holiday makers. 
should come in, Joe. It's brilliant. Yeah, look, Joe, we, we, we won't stay long. Just keep the noise down. Okay. Yeah, sure. See you later. You never know, I might just join you once I've done my rounds. <laughs> right, Mark Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> yeah. Back to Africa for the winter. Ah, OK. That's enough. Uh, Is there anybody out there? That's it! Run away! You coward! Come back! It's all right, man. It's all right. He's gone. He's safe. Shh. Right, safe. Playing a bit of please, love? I bet it was those sweet omelettes, Mr. Turner. Carol, give it a rest, will you? Yes, Mr. Turner. I bet it was, though. Carol. If it was the eggs, Carol, it was the supplier's fault, not Alan's. Yes, but what if you did poison them, Mr. Turner? Have you thought of that? Carol, once and for all, I did not poison my customers. 126, now, please. I bet it was the eggs, though. Do you remember all that salmonella chocolate? Oi, oi, large whiskey. <laughs> Michael, I hope you're not going to start getting drunk. What? I just want a whiskey. I'll get it for you, mate. No, oh, thanks. Come on, then, Carol. Should I serve you, Mr. Turner? Who do you think you are? Michael, oh, no, no, don't bother. I know when I'm not wanted. You and the tits, you're all the same, aren't you? He'll get himself barred again if he's careful. Thanks, Get up! Leave your mouth! She'll bring Alice up here, you know, she'd love it. Yeah, I actually said she's a real water baby. Yeah, she'd be a better swimmer than me before long. Right, Paul! Tell him to get off me! It's your fault, Mark. You started it. Get off! Great! Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, come on. You can't leave me here. <laughs> don't worry, Mark. We'll tell Lisa what's keeping you. <laughs> I don't believe it. Unbelievable. Some beggars nicked his clothes. 